Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Turning Pages, the podcast that celebrates African literature. My name is Vuvu Vena. Today we are visiting South Africa in a review of Mohale Moshekho's collection of short stories, Intruders. We are of a folklore heritage. We were conceived in the womb of beautiful words, birthed into a captivating world that we've spent eternity trying to name, tell, retell and paint. Wrapped and cradled in stories, in Tsomi Our words create worlds. They transport, they mirror, they convict, they give lashings and hugs. They create and can never be undone. To hide between the pages of a book is to find pieces of yourself before you even were. Welcome to Turning Pages, the podcast that celebrates African literature from the continent and the diaspora. I'm your host, Vuvu Vena. I first mentioned Mohana on the podcast on episode 7 when I reviewed her debut novel, The Yearning. If you are interested in a bit of background on the author, kindly visit that episode. Today we'll be reviewing her sophomore offering, a collection of short stories. The jury is still out on whether we classify this book as falling under Afrofuturism or not. Mohale's author's notes are always something to look forward to. Here's what she wrote at the start of Intruders. Intruders. Now. This one is for a girl who always saves a boy who lived. For delicate and invisible boys. Lost souls with praying mothers. Even a heathen like me has a praying mother. Those who raise themselves in a world that doesn't care whether they live or die. The progeny of forgotten legends. Those who have lost too much and have nothing but themselves. For young love and old heartbreak. The ones who fall asleep with a man and wake up next to a monster. For monster slayers and makers. For those who were spat out onto the streets. For the weird, the wonderful. And us who never see ourselves in the stars but die in the seas searching for them. You are everything. The book is divided into three parts, titled The Good, The Bad, and The Wonderful. Under The Good, Muhale explores a lot about love. The love a parent has for a child, a friend for a friend, lovers, and siblings. It's a sacrificial type of love that she explores. Each story demonstrates a loud and selfless love. Under this section, Untitled One is my favorite story. This one talks to the bond between two sisters in what looks to be the apocalypse in South Africa. The sections are punctuated by mesmerizing illustrations that exude something spiritual and African and obviously are telling of what the section is going to be about. The bad is just as the title of the section indicates. Even the illustration accompanying it is gruesome. Under this section, Mohane looks at urban legends, the type of stories that did the rounds in black communities when we were growing up. She also looks at science and what can happen when we take things too far. She questions our perception and reverence of life in this section. My favorite story under the bed is On the Run, which by far is my favorite story in the entire collection, followed very closely by Entitled 1, 2, and 3, which I feel are unfinished. We can only hope that Muhale has a vision for this story specifically, whether it's to explore how it goes as a standalone or perhaps it can be turned into something visually incredible in a television series. It's a story that one can't help but feel needs more time. Under the colorful, Mohale talks to the fantastical magic of girls and women. The story is centered around female heroes, a type of reminder to women who read it that indeed we too can play the heroes in our own stories. Ntatisi is by far my favorite story under this section. It brings in clan-specific urban legend or history to the fore and somehow emphasizes that perhaps we've always been supernatural beings. Intruders is a what-if tale. What if we imagined ourselves into the stories that so often excluded us? What if we told these stories in a genre that often has no black people in it? What if we weaved our background, urban legends and culture fearlessly into our telling? What if we suddenly realized that we have as much rights to any genre in fiction as any other race or culture does? What if we started taking up these spaces? What would that look like? And if this spellbinding and absolutely incredible collection gives us a peek into how it would all look absolutely beautiful. I rated Intruders 4 out of 5 stars. If you are someone who is actively searching for representation in books, then this collection is for you. 
especially if you have an inclination towards a bit of dystopian, sci-fi, spiritual and inquisitive in your taste of literature, this won't disappoint. This book was sent to me by Penn Macmillan South Africa for review purposes. All views are my own. That's all for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please don't forget to rate and review this podcast. Any engagement on any of my platforms means a lot to me. And until next time, remember every page turned is something learned. Keep turning pages. I'd love to hear your thoughts about today's episode. So why not search for me on social media? On Instagram, I'm vuvuvena underscore reads. On Facebook and Twitter and YouTube, I'm vuvuvena reads. And you can also find me on my website, which is www.vuvuvenareads.com. And until next week, I really do love you guys. Bye now.